So tax season is upon us, and uh, I use Coin Tracker software, and unfortunately, it, uh, I ended up with quite a few pages of Form 8949 that came out with the uh, at the end of the, when I filled out when I generated all my reports, and unfortunately, it does not have my name at the top of each. After I printed it, I realized my name was not at the top, my social security number was not at the top of each of the forms, and honestly, it was going to be. Uh, it was going to take a while to put my name at the top of every form. Other software I've used for stocks and things, um, like TradeLog, it, it automatically had that on there. And unfortunately, um, CoinTracker did not. All the transactions were filled in, but not my identifying information. So I have Adobe Acrobat Pro 11 here, and um, I, was, I found a workaround in order to add my name and social security number to the top of each form page. Um, you can see that the page page two is a little bit different. than page one. So I couldn't just have my name go in the same exact spot all the way down, but I have it's page one and page two, page one and page two repeating. So every even page is the same. Every odd page is the same. So what I ended up doing is um, you know, I noticed online that there's you know other software you can buy that will do this, and I didn't see any other videos or instructions on how to do this using uh, using Adobe. Um, so, but what I ended up doing is, is using the header and footer, and doing some experimentation. Um, so, putting my name, for example, in the left header, and my social security number, for example, in the right header. I increased the font to a, a 12, and then I just started doing some experimentation. Unfortunately, when you move the mar top margin down, it'll, it'll like you can see, it put test to test here and social security number here. I can change that to a one, but then it moves it down here, and the further I go, it'll keep on going, but it won't show you in the preview pane. So it takes a little bit of experimentation. So for example, if I wanted to try 1.5, I can't even see where that ended up. Um, you might be able to figure it out, uh, let's see, is, is there a way to add, there might be a way to add grids or something so you can see it, um, but what I ended up doing was just experimenting, and I think I chose, um, again, test, test, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and uh, let's try 1.5, and you can say page range options. This is the first page, so it would be an even. I'm actually on page 121, um, but this would be the same as the first page, and um, we'll make that odd numbers only, and click OK, and click OK. So once again, I got, I would just change this to 12, 12 font, 1.5 margin from the top, name, social security number, click OK, and there it is. I put, I put, I filled this in, and because I had, um, if I click update, it'll go back into the same same one. And since I since I chose all pages, odd pages only, it's going to go through and put it on page 121, you know, 123. If there was one, you know, 135, blah blah blah, etc. Now you can do two different headers. Now if I click on update here, it'll go back in and it'll update this one. But if I add add header and footer, and I, once there's once there's two headers um, applied, um, I don't think you actually have a choice on which one you can edit. Look, from my experience playing around with it, looks like you, it'll um, pick the first one you created, and that's the one that's going to let you edit. But I'm not 100% sure. Um, but if I click update, it's going to edit the one that I've already created for the odd pages. If I click on add. Then it's going to tell me you already have a header or footer. Would you like to replace the existing header or footer with the one that you are adding? No, I don't want to replace it. I want to add a new one. Um, so this one, it's on a different. Uh, it's, the margin needs to be a little bit different than the first one because of the, the location. So it takes a little bit of experimentation. Um, I, on this one, I chose a one from the top. Again, change the font to. I changed it to twelve. Test test. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this time I'm going to choose, I want all 
even pages and click OK and click OK. And now if I go down to an even page, I put it here one inch, one inch from the top. So obviously for if you weren't doing form 89, 49, and you're using this for something else, it would take some experimentation if you wanted to put the same exact text, you know, in one spot on every document, like your, your name or something on multiple pages, you know, you could do it. I don't know what the limitations are, but I, I've tried it at least two to two and a half inches and it'll put it way down here. Um, so, you know, there are, are other applications for this. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.